First of all, um, this is just a limited number of product that we have compared to what we have in the store. At the moment, we have got two kind of rices. Um, we have got cauliflower rice and we have got uh, white sushi rice. So that is a general portioning of white sushi rice you get in there. Now we get along with the protein station. So for the protein, we would go for some cooked salmon that is uh, lightly seasoned and it's a uh, well-cooked salmon up here. Uh, then we would also add a tiny bit of uh, cooked prawns, the same way we cook our salmon, lightly seasoned and uh, it's all well cooked. Now for this, I would particularly go for truffle yuzu ponzo. It has got that nice truffle oil to it, a tiny bit of yuzu, that's a citrusy fruit, and then it's already sweet, sour and salty, so it's going to give that nice blend to it. So here you go, one nice general por portioning of that. Then the, the best that we can mix with this is, I would say, let's go with some avocado. Nobody says no to avocado. That's going to be really good with this. A tiny bit of uh, tanginess and sweetness from the mangoes. And let's keep it a bit uh, more onto ground by putting it some onions to it. That's going to add that nice bit of um, flavor and fragrance to it. So then let's help them in exchanging their qualities, flavor, and then the um, fragrance all together. One good mix, and that goes inside the base. There you go. Thank you. So after this, um, let's make it in a such a way that it tastes really good by adding a bit of um, spices to it, and most probably a bit of um, the flavors that we would search in any like sushi bowl or stuff. Uh, let's start with some um, ginger. A nice aromatic flavor some kick with a bit of sweetness and saltiness mixed to it. Um, let's add a tiny hint of the um, kimchi for that uh, spicy, soury stuff to it. Then let's do some beetroots that has got some sesames to it. It's going to be like slightly sweet because of honey, but it has that all the lovely qualities of beetroots and then the sesame as well. For the sauce, as we say, nothing goes wrong with avocado. Let's do some avocado sauce. It is a good mixture of avocado. It has got the creaminess from coconut milk, a bit of spring onion, jalapeno, black pepper, and uh, um, yeah, that's it. That's what you got for the nice flavor. Let's uh, decorate that with a bit of sriracha mayo for that tiny bit of more spice to it. And um, for the additional flavor, um, we have got six of the dry toppings up here. They are sesame, uh, so sesame seeds with black nori, a bit of sea salt. We have got spicy cashews. Those are togorashi chili spice. We have got um, crispy shallot. These are wasabi toasted coconuts and we have got crispy garlic. But for this in particular, I would say let's go with some sesame seeds that has got black nori and sea salt because uh, the sesame boosts the flavor of the seafood. At the same time, the nori helps in putting the extra aroma to it. And then the sea salt adds that nicely um, salted and seasoned flavor to it. And that's how you finish your Pokeball.